Hi, welcome again to the Yamato test team. I'm Ralph. Here at Yamato, we test and service a lot of hydraulic equipment. The conditions of the materials we sometimes encounter inspired us to show you the importance of checking your equipment every time before using it. In addition to Yamato checking it here. Take a hose for example. It's a relatively vulnerable part in a hydraulic system. It can easily get in the way or get damaged on the job. It's easy to overlook small damages, so you have to check closely to make sure it's okay. Let's first take a closer look at a hose that needs to hold 720 bars. It's built up in three layers. An inner core hose, a steel mantle that has to protect and support the inner core hose, and our outer mantle that has to protect the steel mantle. But what will happen if a hose is damaged and because of that weakened? Or a hose that's perfectly fine gets damaged when you're using it? Let's find out. For our safety, we're gonna let a hose fail on purpose where and when we want it. We keep a safe distance by controlling everything remotely. With this system, we're gonna lift this container. After we lift the container, we're gonna cut one of the hoses using this tool. We placed our tool on this tray to not spill any oil. It's unlikely a situation like this occurs at your workplace. But you can imagine something happening to a hose letting the hydraulic oil escape. In the end, the result will be the same. Only you will not know when or how it's gonna happen. Let's take a look inside our container. For our test, the container is not very heavy. We don't want the container moving out of control. That's why we're gonna catch it with this support and that bear. Let's go to the testing part. You saw what happened. This is just a container with beach balls. Still, I would never approach the container to try and stop it or save the beer. There is nothing I could have done. And we know cylinders can lift much more than this. Our small cylinder lifts 5,000 kilos. And there is really no stopping that kind of weight if it starts moving beyond your control. Let's test some more. Sure, a hose fails with a clean cut, but what if the damage is more subtle? Here we have prepared some damaged hoses. Let's see how they react to pressure. Three, two, one. This hose has been too close to heat. This hose just mishandled. I hope you enjoyed our tests. See you next time. Believe in creating a safe and neat work environment. Read the instructions and use the equipment as specified. Always work with personal protective equipment. Inspect your equipment. Scheduled maintenance and certification is required. Never work with damaged equipment.